Hello, I'm Scrumpy. Thanks for joining me. We are playing Crusader Kings again. And you might remember from the last episode, we have just taken Middlesex. So we are you know, feeling pretty pleased with ourselves at the moment. We're on episode 14 now. And uh, you know, we're making a little bit of little bit of progress in that we've we are king of Wessex. And you know, I'd say that um, we're beginning to beginning to stamp our a little teeny tiny bit of authority. What I what I have to do now is just sort out the fact that I'm over my demands limit. So we've got a little bit of giving of land away. So we're going to search for the right kind of people to, to do that. So we're looking for a man that's not in prison, that's that is probably not a ruler, within diplomatic range, my religion, my culture not great house and content and then search under stewardship this is a great guy he's 34 he's not envious in any of his traits and he's content really good stewardship score fantastic and he's good he's catholic and he wants to get married we can marry him off so we're going to grant him a title he will be my new wow he'll be the new mayor of london what a great, what a great title. So that's that's a good one. It's one done straight away. Let's look for Bishop Brick. Again, we've got a content man. Not envious. Young age. Good. 23. Excellent. In you come. You could be the Bishop of St. Paul's. That's, that's quite a title. So that will bring us down to 5 out of 5. We have just beaten this guy, Siegfried, so we'll have a truce with him. Uh, hang on, I'm looking in the wrong place. We will have a truce with him, I suspect, when I look at my own. Yeah, we've got a truce with King Siegfried. So what we'd like to do is actually bump him, is to try and bump him off. Yeah. Because if we could bump him off and get an even younger person on the throne, then uh, we could attack the next person. Because the truce is only valid with the the truce is only valid with Siegfried. It's not won't be valid with the son, I think. So we're going to do that. It's only got 52% plot power, but we could spend a bit of money and dramatically change that. Here we go. Send a gift. 42 ducats. Goodness, that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, oh. But it is a lot of plot power. So we're going to do it. And invite into our plot. Get into our plot, sunshine. Get on in there. Let's hope it, that makes a difference that we're looking for. We can't change any laws at the moment, no technology. We can, we can uh, improve. We've got a prisoner here that we could actually ransom. So we'll do that for 70 gold. So there's a threat in the Earl of Gloucester, so we want to go and sort that out pretty quickly. Have you got anything about you that we could sloth or his brave? So it's no good sending a spy master in to Gloucester because even if we schemed, we won't be able to find a way of. We'll have no le We'll have no proper leverage over the Earl of Gloucester, so they need to either be like a coward, or um, they need to have some kind of dodgy history that they don't want other people to know about, um, or they need to be, um, you know, a, a man of honour. So perhaps temperate or honest, maybe even diligent. So we would be better off trying to improve relations with Gloucester. We are trying to improve relations currently in Kent, which is not such a bad idea. It's probably where you are, yes. Well, you can stay there for now. We've got good, vast, we've got good relations, relationships with our bishops. Yeah, excellent. Yes, do we want to do a bit of damage. 
Yes. Plot uncovered. Thugs attack the spy master. I think for now, I could build a spy network. Vicious rumours. So you are based in Jorvik. So let's see if we can create a few suspicious vicious rumours here in Jorvik. Good. When can I next do some carousing? We loved our carousing. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing and spluttering there. We can... I'm looking for my bald friend. Is he still in my court as he moved on? Oh, oh, I think it's, has he grown some hair? He's great. I think he might have grown a bit of hair, you know. We can do some carousing again. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get carousing then. So let's go to my vassals, start with my vassals. And invite everybody we can to carousing. Sorry, it always takes a, a little bit of time clicking away. Click, 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 and click. And probably, yeah, click. So we're going to do a bunch more carousing, and hopefully that will raise opinion further. So we're really after opinion at the moment, trying to get everybody to love us as much as possible, get our maximum natural levy and our maximum vassal levy. Bring them all in. Bring them in. What about in the court? Yeah. Bring my commander in. Bring them all in. Even, I could invite my wife as well. Yeah, she, she could be a good giggle. Right. So the cruising is underway. It's going, to, it's going to happen in a month or so's time. In the meantime, what we want to see happen... Oh, hello. Raiders have arrived in Sussex, so... What titles am I actually holding? I've got Wessex, Middlesex, Dorset, Somerset, and, and Tottenham, which is in Middlesex. I think we'll raise up our... Oh, where are they? Are oh, they up here? Oh, goodness. Okay. Hey, good. We've ransomed uh, this man to himself. He's got a, a, a fiery red-headed wife. Awesome. Dear liege, of course I will come feast with you. I will bring my best appetite for reverie. It's from my steward. My wife doesn't want to join me. That's a shame. The My courtier, random courtier, wants to join me. Similarly... Another, another commander of mine wants to join me. My friend, the Earl of Oxford, will come. My vassal, the Earl of Kent, will come. My vassal, the Earl of Essex, will come. Unfortunately, the Mayor of London will not. The Earl of Sussex will come. The Mayor of Ilchester will come. The Bishop of Wales won't, sadly. But in is the Mayor of Dorchester. Out is the Mayor of Southampton. In is the Bishop of St. Swithin who I think is already my friend anyway. Hmm. Come on, let's get in there and catch these raiders. Let's get in there and kill them. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Die, those Vi kill those Vikings. Ah, Lincoln is gone. Lincoln has gone. So, the moment Jorvik is very weak, the Witz, Witzerk house is, is very weak. I think we might catch these guys. 11th of May. Yes, we're going to catch and kill these raiders. Good. He has a theology focus. Goodness me. He's a sort of a man of learning and piety. That feels very much like the sort of thing I should be doing. But uh, instead I'm busily carousing. We won the Battle of Selsey. We can stand down our levies, which we will. Could do a summer fair. Uh, we could do a summer fair. Got the gold. Prestige is always a valuable thing. I think we'll do a feast instead this year. So I expect the carousing to start shortly. 
We'll get the party started. In the meantime, who's fighting who? Oh, a son was born. Let's just do a little check and make sure that there is nobody in my vassal area that is young, that is in need of a guardian. I think I've done this before, haven't I? Oh, I'm not so sure I have actually, because I would expect all of these to be having, yes. I would have expected these people to have had much better tutors than the ones I've got assigned here. So we're just going to sort this out now. I hope our viewers don't mind, but it's no good having an heir that's ambitious. That's a really off to a really bad start. So we're going to we're going to do something about that. We're going to get her tutored by somebody that is basically somebody that's content. So we search for somebody that's content. And this bishop is an excellent candidate. Good stewardship as well. Yes, there we go. And we have another heir, heir to the Barony of Buckingham here. And we've got the heir to the County of Sussex down here. We're going to give you somebody else that's content. I, or oh, Roth. Proud, pride. Yeah, no, Oswin is good. Yeah, we'll go with Oswin. Uh, who else have we got? So we've got an heir to the barony here, which we'll come back to in a minute. We've got Sussex. Surrey's down here. Let's see if we can get you assigned to a guardian as well. Somebody that's content. Will give us a plus 25 opinion modifier with you. Um, any, no, not envious. Good. This guy's a falconer. That's seriously cool. Oh, yes. You can have the Earl of Oxford as your as your tutor. Very pleasing. Sussex, Surrey, Kent. But you're still pretty young. Uh, let's take a little look. Sorry about that, that was the telephone ringing. Right. Let's see if we can find a slightly better guardian for you. You're not actually an heir to anything, so we don't have to worry too much. We perhaps look for just somebody that's mind as touched. Except you may have got... Yeah, you know, see, at the moment, you're actually looking like you're going to be a good, a good potential bishop. So we'll go for somebody that's... Um, Yes, excellent. There we go. Oh dear. He's currently considering another, another offer from us. Well, let's just let a few turns tick by. Well, we better do the Baron. Let's do the Baron. And again, let's go for somebody content. A bit more martial score this time. Yes, Elsieg again. Good, so we've sorted out the uh, the guardianship things. Good to do that every now and then. So yes to that guardianship contract. Yes to that one. Oh, and out of interest, the girl that I'm about to start a guardianship contract with with is uh, is now my my vassal, and she likes me because I'm gregarious, diligent, just. And I've got good diplomacy, but she doesn't like the fact that I'm a kinslayer, not surprisingly. My guests have arrived for the private feast I have arranged. It's time to let the carousing and the merriment begin. Another yes to a guardianship contract. Can I buy my way back into this guy's for 120 gold? He will like me. I'm going to do it because I really want him to offer me redemption for my sins. These days of... Revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my companions and I feel like good friends already. The Earl of Essex, who wasn't my biggest fan because I fired him from the council, um, is, has become my best friend, which is fantastic news. Brilliant. Another vassal that loves me. 
So that was that cruising was worth doing straight off, straight off the bat. Pope, come and offer me, now that you like me, come and offer me uh, redemption for my sins of being a kinslayer. Oh, you've landed in Wessex, have you? <laughs> well, I'm going to raise my armies of Wessex up straight away and crush you. <laughs> if I was to raise them up in Middlesex as well, I can't because we haven't got any because our garrison is still not full. It's only just full. Could raise them up in Dorset just to make sure we win this fight. The reveling in carousing is over, for now. Time to get back to real life. Well, it was fun, and I gained 20 prestige. Good. Victory. Victory. How is my little plot coming along? 47%, it's not, it's not the best, is it? What happened to the guy that I paid for? I'm going to have to pay you again. 113%, look at you. For just 18 gold, we can get you in. So we'll do it. Yes, invite to our plot. That's, that's going to make a big difference straight away. All right. So once he comes aboard, we'll have much... There we go. Plot power, 170%. We cannot quite get 200 yet. But we'll keep, we'll keep chugging away. I'm pretty happy with my council, generally. And I am... Yeah, Wessex, Wessex. Yeah. Kent. It's worth... worth improving diplomatic relations on. So we've got to November. We can hold a feast. So we will. I have given the orders for a great feast to be hosted in Wessex. Let the preparations begin. And all my vassals will be there. Well, let's hope they, uh, they do come along this time. While I was busy preparing for my feast, a troop of wandering jonglers arrived at the castle. They looked a bit ragged, but their performance entertained the whole castle. Perhaps I should think about offering them my patronage. Well, it's the classic uh, option of either spend the gold or lose the prestige. We'll spend the ten gold, because they will be perfect entertainment for the feast. Oh, stand you down. The fire blasted past my face, and I felt how my hair started to curl away from the fire. The fire eaters had been a bit too careless for my taste, but his troop and he were clearly greatly skilled. Again, it's a lose 10 gold or lose 10 prestige option. And I'm going to choose that the guests would be impressed if they entertained at my feast. Oh, I've still got men to disband. My co-conspirator, Mayor Stiegborn of Skarderborg, has let me know that King Siegfried of Jorvik will die by poisoned wine at an upcoming banquet. Well, that would be splendid if that was to happen. We shall see. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, duck spices, wine and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Goodness, that is, um, that's really quite a cacophony of options. Uh, we've got these classic three for the food. Um, the top one costs the most gold, gets us more prestige. Bottom one, the opposite. The middle one is my favourite and there's always a chance of getting the temperate trait. So we'll click on that. Most of the preparations for the feast have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. I hereby invite you to... Let's see who comes back. Dear King Alfred, I thank you for your invitation, but I will not be able to attend your feast. Well, so Mayor of Ilchester is not going to join us. Let's hope many of the others do, though. And let our, let our uh, kingdom be known for having a good time. The guests have arrived, all is ready, the cooks have worked day and night, and the cast has never looked lovelier. Well, actually, that sounds like many people are coming, as only one person isn't, so welcome to my feast. Ah! <coughs> Hoorah! Success. It seems the wine did not agree with King Siegfried of Jorvik. He died not knowing the name of his killer. 
I think I will celebrate with a beer. So a little pause. That means that Jorvik is now, yeah, is now has a boy who's aged four in charge of it. And if I was to look at some of his, yeah, you see his, his vassals, the opinion of, of him, of King Halfdan II, will be low because he's so young. So absolutely you can expect a revolt and he's already fighting a revolt and he's probably going to lose it, I would imagine. Yes, this guy's got many more troops. But it also means that we can, I believe, declare war on this young man. I must have a valid Cassus Belli. Why do I not? They're Norse, they're pagans. Surely there's a holy war option for me. Why is there no holy war option then? That's interesting. Well, I could against the wonderful King Ivor the Boneless, but uh, he's so strong that it and he'll call in so many allies that uh, I don't think it'll work. We could try to plot to kill him. It's very low, isn't it? Really, everybody loves this guy. I'd have to, I'd have to get a spy master to, to sort of like me. I don't think it's worth trying that. Hmm. Let's hope we get an option for a holy war against these guys. Perhaps it's because they're in a rebellion at the moment. Pleasing, though. Pleasing. Jorvik is going to get itself in a right mess. Raiders have arrived in Gloucester. What a pain. Up, up come our boys. Meet in, uh, in Fair Wiltshire and attack them. Everyone drank and were happy except Earl, e Earl, e Earl, e Earl Eldwin, who refused more wine. So he's Sussex. This insulting gesture means that he does not appreciate my hospitality. So my opinion of him drops by 15 for 10 years. Okay. The last of the guests have returned home and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast, apart from the cruising that we put on for them. It was great fun and I had great fun and so did everyone else. Up 10 more prestige and opinion raises for two years. So if I was to look at my vassal status now, we've got quite a few really high scores. We've also got some fairly low scoring greens, but, but uh, on the whole, very positive. We're still working on Kent, as we should. I'd like to work on Gloucester as well, but let's, let's work on Kent for now. These guys seem to have legged it, so we will stand down. All of our forces. We need more money. We're getting you know, sort of six to seven a turn. We need a lot more money, and what we really need is for the Pope to love us so that we can get rid of this Kinslayer. The fight is raging in, uh, in the north here. What's happening with Mercia? They are not, their attempt, they are at peace for now. Scotland are at peace. There's uh, King Sinead of Lagan. So, okay, so interestingly, um, Ivor the Boneless is going for more of Ireland. He's, he's so powerful. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I have discovered a plot where Giselbert of Lotharingian seeks, goodness, seeks to kill Princess. Ah, this guy's trying to kill my, my wife. Go away, you horrible person. Stop trying to kill my wife. And there's a whole load of people trying to kill, trying to kill my steward. Don't do that. Stop it. All of you. Behave. <laughs> ah, we have the event that we wanted. An emissary from Pope Sil Celestinus II has reached us with a proposal. He will grant us absolution for our sins of kinslaying. But I do need to get on my knees and say, Ave, I'm on my knees saying my Ave Maria's. Um, or I cannot repent my sins and become cynical, which I'm, I'm absolutely not going to do. I'm going to spend the piety, spend the gold, and lose the kin, familial kinslayer trait. That is exactly what we wanted to see happen. That will boost, immediately boost, many of my figures. 
Well, because whilst I'm still a known murderer and I'm dishonourable, the dishonourable will clear in a, a small number of months' time. Yes, and uh, on the whole, opinion of me is, is rising. And that will mean that we'll also have a larger... That we've got 622, 622 troops now within our vassal levies. Hey, look, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to take a look at whether we can um, consider a holy war on King Ivor the Boneless. I really want him to die, King Ivor the Boneless, because his, his son is nowhere near as good as him. Mm. Well, guys, join me next time. It's been fun. Thanks again. Bye.